some things you have to get used to. Some, this mood is present. It's also possible to allow some mood or some past pain to come up without losing your peace. Often we think the two are not compatible. They cannot sit in the same chair. But there is ample room in the infinity of being for every expression to have its play and then to exhaust its expression, go back into silence. If uh, a mood, a sensation is present in the body, why not just accept right now this sensation is present in the body and it's okay. Let it be. This is the most, uh, this is the best attitude. It will go by itself. If you start to struggle, it's as though you perpetuate the state. It's as though something um, energize this play. Let it be. Say anything can come. It's like the ocean. Any sort of waves can play. The ocean doesn't say, I'm okay with ripples, but tidal waves who can't stand them. Everything is ocean. So you let it happen like that. If you have this attitude, then you don't have any problem. You don't say something should not be. Everything has its place in this play. Yeah. You're not that. Witnessing of that is taking place. Yeah. Even to say, I must tolerate. No, witnessing does not tolerate states. Witnessing is not judging. Yeah. The witnessing as is not personal. It doesn't have preferred states. When you know that, then your environment, your garden is always green. No problem. You don't say some some feelings are welcomed, others not. You don't need any bodyguard for this beingness. Everything can manifest. And because of this attitude, actually, things that need to happen like like such feelings, they blow through very quickly. And they don't leave any footprints in the consciousness. If you struggle, you judge, you leave some registration of that in memory. So, ah, I don't want to have this feeling again. If you're inquiring merely to get rid of the pain, if you're using the inquiry as a painkiller, it might work, maybe not also. It's not the purpose of the inquiry. The inquiry is to find out who suffers and to come to see that's not what you are. That is the idea of yourself that is suffering. A concept is suffering from other concepts. A concept about you is suffering from concepts about others and about yourself, you see, observed in consciousness. Keep quiet. <laughs>